Welcome to my studio, welcome to my vlog. I get many questions from my followers about my way of painting. You might have noticed that I always build up my paintings in a specific way. And I would like to share with you how and why. I always start with making a background. It's not painted nicely or really even. It's just to get rid of the white of the canvas, which really helps in the rest of the painting to already get the good feeling and not having to deal with a lot of white or background you don't have any solution for. And my paintings are based on photos I take myself. It's not that easy, I can tell you, but it's really, really fun to put all the cups in the water and every time the results are really surprising. After the photos are done, I always print a few so I can compare and take a good look and decide which one I would like to paint. Then I have to make sure that the canvas and the photo are in the same proportion. And when they have the same proportion, I can make some lines, a grid, on the photo and the canvas, so that I know where to put what. It helps me in my sketch. If I put in too many lines, I can't really sketch spontaneous anymore. And then the sketching starts with just a brush and some paint. And if I would do that with a pencil, for instance, I would make a really good sketch. And then all I have to do is put in the right color. And now there's more space to finding forms and make the painting more spontaneous. And I think the story of a painting should be in more layers and it will make it more a whole and more interesting to look at. And then it's time to fill up some of the forms. Everything gets a color and not the right color, not with all the variations, but just to see where it's going in the image. And it really helps me to see if the painting is going to be nice enough in composition. Then it's time for shadows. I mean, you have forms, but shadows are also very important. Mostly when I do this, the painting becomes more ugly. I sometimes call this the ugly face. I know it's going to be okay. And if I would try to make it nice already, it would be too complicated. This is a necessary phase. Then it's time for detailing. When I'm working on the details, I'm doing this in a specific way. I'm just making a suggestion. It's like optical painting. With the right colors and the right little spots, I can create something that looks like the photo, but it's not exactly painted like that. I think it gives my painting something extra over a photo. Otherwise I could just print the photo and put it on the wall. Though my painting looks already almost done, but believe me, detailing can take weeks and weeks. The differences between what I did in the beginning of the day and the end of the day are not so big, but they're really necessary and it makes your painting look sharp 
and full of attention and it gives me the opportunity to make details you might not see directly when you look at the painting but you will discover looking at it for a longer time. And then when I think it's finished, it takes a few days not looking at it that gives me some space to clear my head and see it with new eyes, which sometimes leads to some adaptions or little details that need to go. And uh, when I've done that, it's really finished and then after a few days of drying I can put some varnish on it and then ta-da done and uh, that's about it if you have any other questions let me know do you want to see more check this one or this one and if you really don't want to miss anything at all subscribe to my channel with this button and you'll never miss a video Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!